Foot phantom bag, infected blister treatment. Here we go. This time, an infected blister presents. As you can see, there is approximately a two by two centimeter fluid filled blister with purplish discoloration underneath the blister and the skin indicating most likely an underlying infection. In this case, an incision and drainage will be performed. A small incision is made along the corner of the blister, decompressing the blister. Immediate purulent drainage is noted and cultures will be taken, usually aerobic, anaerobic, gram stain, and sensitivity. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow. Wound cultures were performed to assist in determining the type of bacteria or fungus that's involved. There are different techniques for obtaining a culture. Once a culture is obtained, utilizing either a 15 blade pickups or tissue nippers can be used to de-roof the blister entirely. Everyone performs this differently. I like to go along the furthest edge using a tissue nipper this assists with preventing deep tissue damage as well as damage, preventing damage to um, the surrounding skin and preventing also the amount of bleeding to the area. I slowly work, work my way around lifting where the blistered aspect of it, of the skin, the superficial aspect of the skin is, and I lift upwards, separating it from deep tissue. Here I slightly compress to try to determine the amount of fluid and the direction of where the fluid is. Usually, if there is still purulent drainage being expressed, you want to trim in that direction because there is an underlying pocket Usually the skin is separated from the abscess and is lifted upwards easier to dissect in this manner. Here, I'm just dissecting across the very, very firm, hard central core of hyperkeratotic tissue in order to evaluate below the area of the subcutaneous tissue and near the area of the deep fascia. It also allows me to easily probe underneath the abscess to separate the skin. You will see this here shortly. Here I continue to trim the thick hyperkeratotic core or the central aspect of the pressure point which initiated this entire process. Ideally, the flat foot deformity and the prominent navicular head may be the underlying cause of this pressure point as well. Here with trimming out the subcutaneous tissue carefully, I notice a focal central tunnel, which I would display here, right there. So it is still tracking plantarly you can see that there's still purulent drainage being expressed, so which means that there is still loose, non-viable tissue in this area. I work my way around, starting from this central tunnel and working my way around carefully to avoid any vascular structures completely around um, the healthy appearing tissue and deep reading and eradicating non-viable tissue. 
I compress, there's still another space. I work my way around, like I had mentioned, using the central tunnel as a starting point and debriding all non-viable tissue circumferentially around that starting point, trying to avoid cutting healthy apparent tissue. In between, I'm just using a damp 4x4 to clean up the area and continue to make my way around the edge of the open wound to remove all non-viable tissue. Here you can see the end product of the abscess decompression and it just extends into the subcutaneous layer of the skin, it does not appear to extend into the deep fascia. If you like this video and you want to see more, Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow. Food Phantom out. See you soon.